Welcome back to Daily DJ. I'm Trevsky and I'm showing you the process of going from no DJ experience to hopefully playing at festivals and making music with my idols. It is, I believe, day nine of this vlog series and I've been having a blast. I think I've learned so much already and I've also had so much fun and really enjoyed getting closer to music. I've tried to make the vlogs not only useful for my own practice, but somewhat entertaining. So hopefully you agree and I can't wait to keep doing more. It's another beautiful sunny day in New York City. I found a selection of songs that are super, super good and I really want to play them out in a mini set here. These are the songs that I identified as being Future House and I'm going to be playing them today. As I'm listening to music all the time, I'm trying to think of songs that would be great as like an intro to my sets. And honestly, this one is amazing. I can see myself playing this on the main stage at some huge festival, but just listen to the first part of it. It's super awesome. I thought today would just be a normal practice session and you know not really learn anything new but of course we have to learn something new every day. I figured out by just pressing random buttons on here that if you use this knob it changes the selection here and then push the right load button. Ta-da! There's a shame behind your eyes Shadows of your heart take you to the dark You're a stranger in your life I see the holes in time never filled with light Alright, as you can see, I prepped the tracks for today. I put a bunch of cue points on here. So the orange ones are actually looping points, which I just found that out as well. So I feel very prepared for this practice set. And I'm excited. Let's let's get started. That was not clean. I know it wasn't clean, but I I, I didn't know which transition to use, so I kind of kind of just panicked and did the the back shot. Yo, I just learned that there's a shift key on the controller. That's crazy. What? Look at this. There is this button here. Shift. And if I press that, then it accesses all of these. I'm going to go through so many moments of me just learning the most basic stuff ever that it's going to be hilarious to look at in the future. That's like equivalent to me discovering that there's a caps lock. <laughs> Like, oh, capital letters? What? <laughs> Not the cleanest, but it wasn't jarring, I guess. This is on a loop right now, so I'm gonna take the loop off. I'm gonna I'm gonna loop this song while I find the next song real quick. Oh my god, 
gosh, I missed the original loop spot, so I panicked and looped it again, and it still worked out. Thank you. <laughs> Oops. Ah, that was bad. What? It's all that for nothing, but this is where I was going to fade in. <laughs> Let's pretend, let's pretend I faded it first. You're probably wondering what I do off camera because obviously I can't record all day and you're not going to watch a vlog that's a couple hours long. So a typical day will be waking up early. I try to get as close to 5 a.m. as possible and that means I'll sleep around 10, uh, 10 p.m. And then I go to the gym first thing. I like to get that out of the way, make sure I get that in. And then after that, I will go listen to music and prepare for the day. I try to categorize, I try to actively listen to music, not just passively. Like I try to imagine myself playing the songs and how they would fit into different sets and different genres. And then I'll actually look them up online to see what genre people say they are. And then I'll add them to new playlists. So that's what I do a lot off camera. Just like whenever I have free time, if I'm in the gym, if I'm commuting somewhere, most of the day I'm doing work for my day job. And then if I have time during lunch, I like to get a little DJing in, film some for the vlog. And I'll usually finish that up in the evening after work and do the editing in the evening. And then I will, I like to either play soccer with some friends and recover from the day and relax and prepare for bed. So that's basically, that's basically my weekly schedule. Throughout the vlog series, I want to include some little tidbits about the rest of my life. So I have that context as well. Okay, I think part of the problem is that I can't see the lights on any of these controls right now because it's so sunny out. I, was, I thought I was hitting the hot cube button, but I was hitting beat, I was still on the beat loops um, screen. I kept hitting those buttons and I'm wondering why it's not switching to the cues. So I'm using the sun as an excuse right now. I'm looping right now. I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna fade out and switch to another loop. And then once that loop loops twice, I'm gonna drop it to right to the hot cue of the beat drop. So let's see if it works. Hopefully, hopefully it works. Come on. It's a good idea. It's a good idea. Come on. Ready? That was, that was unbelievably satisfying. Alright, I, I hit it at the loop again. Same loop that I faded in on. And I'm gonna transition with this loop as well. Ready? That might have been the wrong place to fade in. Hang on, let's try that again. All right, I got a new, I got a better place. I got a better place. That was good. That was good. I liked it. I liked it. This is the best. See, this is the good thing about cue points because I already know the places that are good to fade in. And I didn't like the last one, so I just hit the, rather than hit Q point B, I just hit A. I was quickly able to change my strategy because I had I have all of these lined up. Like I have A, B, C, D, E, so I can fade in and out at any of those points, which is amazing. I feel so much more in control. Let's go. Wow. <laughs> I saved that one 
too because I had the cue point. I was like, oh crap, I missed the I missed the place to loop. Now what am I gonna do? But then I quickly um, tabbed to my number one hot cue on the other so track, and I was like, okay, this will work, and I quickly switched it. Amazing, amazing. I'm patting myself on the back here. Also, whenever I put these on, it's not only because it's sunny, but as you can see, I have cameras in these glasses. This is the Snapchat Spectacles POV footage, so let me know if you like that. I think it could be cool, especially for gigs. I can't wait to use it in the club or something. Let's go. Clean, very clean. I'm so hyped today, wow. See, I'm just having so much fun and I really love doing this. It's such a satisfying thing and uh, I can't wait to keep getting better and showing you guys all these really cool things that I learned. And who knows, who knows where I'll, I'll take this. So, I'm really happy that you're here, even if not, Gonna look back at it and see. Look how far it came. Let's go, let's go. there to cut to another cue point with a loop. I don't know if it sounded good, but it was cool because I transitioned to another point in the song. I like the idea of jumping around the song without transitioning to a new song. I think it was pretty clean. I don't know if that sounded good, but we'll take it, we'll take it. I, I had a super, super fun time today, and I hope you did as well. Come join me again tomorrow, every day. Daily DJ, you know already. We're gonna keep improving, keep having fun, and hopefully be building a little community here, so. Welcome, and I hope you stick around because I don't plan to stop. Oh, I almost forgot the thumbnail. Hang on. I gotta do a thumbnail pose. Thumbnail? Oh, this looks good.